from Majnu for your mission. Yes. <laughs> Majnu for my mission, for my own passion. <laughs> How nice. I mean, everyone would like a Majnu like that, right? Well, speaking, the, uh, speaking about a Majnu like that, now imagine if your character, Nasreen, Rashmika, were to wake up one day and realize that the person she is in real life, like imagine if Rashmika were to wake up and realize that the person or the partner she's with is actually an undercover agent. How would you react? As in, she wouldn't know, no? <laughs> <laughs> no, eventually, he knows. If you catch him. Oh, my God. Him. If I catch him. If that mission him. is unsuccessful from his part. <laughs> no, I will keep it a react? secret and support him in his mission. Wow. 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 I mean, you know, you don't know. It's a big twist. It's a big twist. Maybe these are hints for the film, you guys. You never know. You never know. You're making a mission for your mission. You're making a mission for your mission. You're making a mission for your mission. मिशन पे जा रही हैं। There's you guys are really well cast। इतनी आसानी से इनको कन्विंस कर दिया आपने कि मेरी असलियत ये नहीं है। Okay। पहले तो प्यार है ना। So I think because of the love। Which do you remember the scene? Oh no, really? No, because it was such a quick like I think after the COVID first. First lockdown is when we shot, and um, those 20 days, 25 days, uh, 25 days was my scared, and I remember just being on set very nervous, because this was um, the first Hindi film that I had shot, and <laughs> I was very nervous with, uh, I didn't know uh, for sure what sort of working atmosphere it was, and of course, every new team that you walk into, every new character that you're doing, and the story that you're saying, um, sort of like, you have that butterflies in your tummy, right? <laughs> Before you walk into a, a set. But I think I remember that first uh, scared in Lucknow was, it was very quick <laughs> because I missed it so much. We had such a blast. Um, we were constantly creatively on a high because uh, we wanted to sort of like get it right, you know? And I remember, Doing that, we had rehearsals, we had uh, readings, and at the same time, we would go to the set, and um, you know, it was like quick work, and um, yeah, it was it was just like so amazing. I want to go back in time. <laughs> um, so I think we we actually technically don't know much about such covert missions because the purpose of it is to keep it a secret. Um, none of the teams can really come out and claim they've done that, or we we'll never get the exact details. But now, possibly 50 years later, we know uh, connecting the dots, and uh, that's what our writers have have done all the homework to make sure that we get the right balance of being authentic and yet add our flavor of uh, uh, you know commercial cinema onto it to make it a streamlined story. Uh, so the character that I play or we play are completely fictitious, but the events that happen in it is uh, are real. Uh, something that have happened. Um, and we uh, we did a lot of readings and workshop. I remember in my house, be it, you know, Amar, Garima, uh, Shantanu, we would just sit down and start uh, doing readings of the script and coming up with ideas as to uh, what and how we can do the particular scene. Um, even this sewing machine right here, this old school one, I've um, possibly the same one that I've practiced and rehearsed on for that one scene, um, trying to get the actual uh, authentic way of uh, making clothes in 1970s. Um, and I think uh, the rest was something that we've all tried. You know, every scene was different. Uh, every scene had a different flavor. So we're really excited for the 20th of Jan now. For people, this is my first time playing a spy, so I'm, I'm extremely excited to see what people think. And sit on a scooter for the first time as well, so. Yeah, even the scooter, even the, the 70s scooter with that lovely color, what, what do you call that color? Lambrata, what is it? Yeah, yeah but yeah? Oh, yeah. that color is uh, some, such a unique, yeah. There's a name for it, which none of us know. <laughs> so that, that 70s scooter and this, uh, this sewing machine for me. Yeah, I went um, to a two-week, three-week intense training, which was very, very scary to <laughs> say because I remember initially I had to start with just uh, blindfolding myself. And I reached to a point where I could make like aloo sabzi without looking. Lighting the, <laughs> lighting the, um, you know, everything, everything. There was a tennis ball, um, you know, thrown at me and I had to close my eyes and catch it, sense it and catch it. And I had to count my steps. Um, 
in and out of the um, place I was training at and everything. So this went on for almost uh, two, three weeks, and I, I think, and wow, that was quite uh, <laughs> hard, <laughs> intense. Yeah, so, but I realized that when one of your senses are, you know, um, taken away, all your other senses just like highlight in and I really, um, as in, I realized this and I think while shooting also, I had to figure out a way uh, which was comfortable for me to maintain throughout the whole, um, you know, uh, performing this character and yeah, I have a technique that I'll tell you later, <laughs> not right now, but uh, yeah, it was, it was very interesting as an actor. That's why she has that line, na, ki aap, uh, aapke itar ko humne uh, sung liya, itne bhi khufiya nahi hai aap. Uh, itne Kab bhi khufiya nahi hai aap. Ko, because the smell sense is, is something which is heightened and, and that's what we use in the film as well, very, very uh, subtly, but I think quite interestingly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've Go never sent anyone on a mission. Last when I sent someone <laughs> <laughs> across the border, uh, well, I can only answer as a creative Just, uh, person. Just on your, your understanding of... Uh, you know, See, what, whatever we researched uh, in, in recent times or the times that uh, uh, in the 70s is definitely was very difficult to communicate between countries in the 70s. That's why they, they were the secrecy or one had to go to a location to make a phone call or they would, uh, you know, send it by code. Um, obviously, with time, technology has changed. Even how we consume content has changed over the years. It was only cinema then. Today, we have Netflix and other platforms to watch. So I'm sure, um, uh, as far as uh, I'm concerned, just purely as an audience, uh, I'm sure the, the today's spies have different methods. Uh, but we are playing a far more retro or a more original raw uh, spy, even because of the agencies that were formed. Were, uh, they, were, they were new agencies which was formed from India's point of view. And they, they, they had just started systems like these to, to protect the country. Um, so yeah, I can only speak about uh, Mission Majnu, and here we are playing, you know, the, the true uh, original OG, uh, you know, people who possibly would have gone to other countries to protect their own. Thank you very much, all of you. You've been very kind. Thank you. And now we have uh, the entire, we have the cast and of course, the makers behind uh,